All right, guys, welcome to Smoke Show Yoga. I'm your instructor, Mike, and the power goddess next to me, Miss Megan, is going to help take you through today's yoga flow. We're going to focus on getting a little bit sweaty today. So grab a towel, grab a bottle of water. Let's hit your mat. We have about 25 minutes of power flow we're going to run through. Let's get ready to sweat. All right, squat, starting off at the back of your mat, we're going to take a hip width stance. You're going to take your left foot straight, right foot out to a T, cut it in half. You're going to pivot on the ball of your foot, and then just adjust your feet so they're about on the same level, okay? It's going to set you up right on a hip width. Start off, we're just going to run through a few sun salutations to get the blood flowing, okay? So we'll inhale, we'll sweep those arms up, cactus the arm back, pull the shoulder blades back, take a big breath out, see if you can crack your back, inhale, reach it up. Right hand's going to grab the left wrist as we side bend, push those hips out to the left. Inhale up and through the middle, and we'll switch the clasp of those hands as we pull this time towards the left, pushing the hips to the right. And then inhale to the middle, exhale as we cactus the arms back. One more time, reach back, pull the shoulder blades back, inhale up and through. Exhale for a forward fold. Start to walk your hands to the front of the mat. We'll step the left foot forward, placing left hand. Left arm is going to bend in at 90 degrees. We're going to inhale, weave under. Exhale to open up. One more time. Inhale to weave and under. Exhale to open it up. Set your right knee down towards the ground. Reach back. And if you can, we're going to grab onto that foot. Coming to a corkscrew stretch here. Looking up and over the shoulder. Five times we're going to pull that heel in and out. Getting a nice quad stretch. And after that fifth time, we're just going to release that foot down. Bring the arms back. Press back to a downward facing dog. From here, we'll start to walk the hands back to the top. Stand up, we'll inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring them all the way back down towards the mat. And this time we'll crawl to the front of the mat. We'll step the right leg forward, replacing the right hand. Right arm bends in towards 90. Inhale, weave under. Exhale to open up. One more time, inhale, weave it under. Exhale to open up, set the back knee down. So we'll reach back, now grabbing the left foot with the right hand and come into that corkscrew stretch. It's okay, right and left. You know, she's from Oregon. I heard the school system there. Yeah. They don't teach that until like middle school. Really Crazy. Yeah. And she actually didn't make it through middle school. Five times we're gonna pull in and out. There it is. Hey, welcome to the club. Pull in the right <laughs> hand to the left foot and then we'll come back through the middle. Both hands plant down, pressing a downward facing dog. <laughs> I'm here to teach. She's here to teach us directions. Pull the heels down. Come in a nice deep downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward into a high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. We'll inhale, bring the arms directly up overhead. And then we're going to pull the legs off the ground, coming to a full superhero. And then we're going to bring the arms all the way behind us. See if you can make fists and touch your knuckles behind your back. Inhale and back up. Clap the hands in the front. Exhale, back behind you. Well, it's three more times. Nice little angels. Two more times. And do your best not to touch your back side as the hands come behind you. Good, bring the hands right by the chest. We'll press back through into downward facing dog. Again, pedal out the calves. Good, we'll come into a loaded Beast positions, we'll start to sit the heels back, the hips towards the heels, knees off the ground. A nice little loaded spring position here. So here, take one breath in, then exhale, we'll spring forward high onto the toes, wave through the upper body, and then drop into an upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Again, inhale, loaded beast, hips towards the heels. Exhale, high onto the toes, round out the upper back, and then drop into your upper dog. One last time from downward dog, sitting onto the heels. Exhale, waving forward into upward facing dog. Hang out in upper dog for a second. Let's rock the shoulder side to side. Open up through those tight hips. And then press yourself back to down dog. Beautiful. Let's start to wake the core up a little bit. We'll inhale, left leg up, three legged dog. And exhale, we're going to bring that left knee to the left elbow. We'll slowly drop it down to the left wrist. Up, left elbow, back to three-legged dog. Set the leg down, we'll hit the right side, right leg, inhales up. Exhale, knee to an elbow. 
lower down to the wrist. Press it back up to the elbow. Back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's do a little bit more of an advanced version of that. Now we'll do some full boxes. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale to the elbow. Back down to the wrist. Across to the right elbow. Up to the right wrist. Oh, I can't use the elbow or wrist either. Into the left elbow. Down to the left wrist. One more time across, right wrist. Up, right elbow. Into the middle. Round out. Knee to nose. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. We'll step it all the way forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up, coming to a high crescent. Good. Right arm is going to come forward. Left arm spins back, coming to a little crescent twist here. Good. Really pull the shoulder blades together. Bend deeper into that front knee. And we'll take the right arm. We're going to hook the left. Put the hands together. We'll come into a nice little twist here. If that feels good, we can start to spread the arms out. And just keep the gaze down towards the floor. And slowly come back through the middle. Press the hands into the mat and back to downward facing dog. Nice Meg, not even breathing heavy. <laughs> Either that or she's holding in for dear life. Guys, go right side, right leg in, heels up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Slowly bring it down to the right wrist. Across to the left wrist. Up to the left elbow. Back to the right elbow. One more time, down to the wrist. Left wrist. Left elbow. To the middle. Knee to the nose. Be held for five, four, three, two, one. Step forward. Good. Inhale, both arms sweep up, coming to that tall crescent. As you exhale, bring the left arm forward, the right arm to the side. I'm going to a nice twist. We'll take one full breath in here. And out, then we'll take that left elbow. We're going to hook it right over that right thigh. Bring the hands together. Come to that twist. Do your best to keep that back leg straight. Go for that feeling. Okay, guys, we'll start to open the arms up. And you just keep the gaze down towards the floor, straight ahead. And slowly coming out of it. Hands are going to press back into the mat. Press yourself into a downward facing dog. Awesome, guys. Bring the knees down to the mat. Take a quick child's pose. Take a little rest. You're doing awesome. All right, Meg, how are you doing so far? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. That's all we can ask. Didn't fall Meg, yet. on a Sunday, that's all we can ask. <laughs> I'm barely hanging in there. Guys, let's go ahead and sweep back to our tabletop position. We're going to go ahead and start to light the core up now with some advanced bird dog. We'll start with the regular bird dog, though. And if this is where you're working today, that's totally fine. We'll go to a more advanced version in a bit. We're just going to start off by taking a quick cat cow on the hips and then trying to find that neutral position as if there was a plate on your back where you would not drop that plate. From there, we're going to lift the left arm straight up. And we're going to start to kick the right leg straight behind us. From here, I just want you to check in with your core. And notice, did you arch through the back or are you able to maintain that more neutral position in the core? Slowly bring the elbow in towards the knee. Exhale it out. Bring it back to the middle. Let's hit the right side. Right arm is going to come up. Left leg kicks behind you. Again, making sure that you can still maintain that neutral position here. That you're not arching excessively through the back, but that you're able to still kind of tuck your belly in. Then we'll bring the left elbow, the right elbow into the left knee, and extend back out, and then set it down. Beautiful guys. So that is a regular bird dog. If that's where you're going to work today, that's totally fine. Otherwise, we're going to go into the advanced version. We're going to tuck the toes. We're going to lift the knees up one inch. From here, left arm comes up. Right leg kicks behind. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's see if she can get left and right this time. It's OK. I'll wait. <laughs> Slowly bring the left knee in towards the right. Sorry, left elbow, right knee. Kick it back out. We'll do this five times. Good. Inhale it in. Exhale it out. Notice if your left knee is all over the place, try and keep it just off the ground. One more time. I'm sticking with the modified. Set it down. Good job, guys. Take a quick breath in and out. Good. And we'll start to hit the other side. So this time, right arm forward, left leg will be up. Tuck the toes, knees up. Start off here, start to sweep the right arm up. Notice that right knee came up, try and pull it back down. Left leg comes behind us. Hold for just a few seconds. 
Find the stability. And start to bring your right elbow towards left knee. Exhale it out. Four more times. Three. Connecting with breath. Two. Last one. Bring it down. Set the knees down. Good job, guys. Good. So if you ever maintain that neutral position here, you have a pretty strong core. It's not easy at all. But good job, Meg. You held in so thank well. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Power gods. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll flip over on the back. We're going to do a very similar thing here called the dead bug. And with our dead bug, what we're looking for, you're trying to round your low back into the mat. You're going to bring your knees up off the ground and your shoulders up off the ground. And here we're going to start to lengthen our left leg out and our right arm behind us. We're just going to check to make sure, can I still not get my hand under my back? If you can, you're starting to arch. Bring it back in. But see if you can flatten out here. Let's start to lengthen away. So we'll bring it in. We'll sit to the other side. Left arm back, right leg forward. I'm just going to continue doing opposite sides until I confuse Megan. Left foot, right arm. See how long she lasts. Oh, I got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dead Good. Butt. Now we're going to do both at the same time. Arms are going to come. Legs are going to come. We'll come into this full hollow body position or advanced boat pose. Point the toes. Lift the shoulders up. You should still be totally flat to the ground here. If you're starting to arch, just bring it back in and see how hard you can maintain this. Otherwise, we're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and just breathe deeply here. If you need to, you can support your head. Otherwise, arms can stay fully out behind you. Again, what your main goal here is to try and engage the rectus abdominis. Okay, so you should feel flat to the ground and low back. 15 more seconds here. Keep holding the shoulders up. <laughs> yeah. Good. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come into a butterfly stretch. Feet together. We'll sit upright. We'll start to make some circles through the hips as we catch our breath. Great job with that hollow position, guys. I know it's not easy. Good. Other way. And three. Good, guys. Let's go ahead and take those hands behind us. Let's open up through those shoulder blades. So a couple options here, guys. If you have very tight shoulders and wrists, you're probably going to spin the fingers behind you. If you've been kind of like they're slightly open, you can come to the side. If you've got really nice open shoulders, you can actually go palms forward, fingers forward. We're going to come into a reverse tabletop here. We lift the hips up, pull the chest back, and then we're going to bring that knee into the chest. I want you to flex the foot up so you create that 90 degree angle through the knee and through the foot. Bring it back down. We're just going to march. We're going to do this for about 35 seconds, just alternating and trying to continue pulling those hips up. You should feel your hamstrings here, your shoulders, even the stretch on the bicep. Good, guys. And every time that leg marches in, we're flexing that foot. We're driving those hips up. And if this is starting to tax your shoulders, that's totally fine. Spin those hands out. You might find you can even lift up a little bit higher if you do. Especially those of my dudes with the tight shoulders. 10 seconds left. Bring it up, down, up, down. One more time each side, up, down, and the last time on the side. Good, then point the toes and just lift as high as you can. Pull the chest up. Good, this position challenges the rotator cuff, challenges the rear delt. A lot of your back muscles and gets a great stretch on the front side. Most of us tighten that pec minor, that front delt. And we'll slowly start to set it down. Reach up, try and grab the feet, pull the head in. Good, if this is too tight, take a bend in the knees. That's totally fine. Either way, take a nice forward fold. Relax, take a breath. Killing it. Slowly start to walk yourself up. Okay, we'll do a bit of leg work here now. We'll sweep ourselves back into a downward facing dog. We'll do some warrior series, guys, some downward dog. Go ahead and step that left foot forward to the top of the mat. Or spin the right heel out behind us and the left foot will come out so it's perpendicular to our front leg. And here we're gonna start to widen out and bend deep into that front thigh, looking for at least a 90 degree angle, so that hamstring below your knee. Your arms will sweep out to the side. Gaze over that left hand. 
See if you can pull a little bit closer without tilting too much of the torso. It's trying to get relatively tall here. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. We're gonna inhale, reverse your warrior two. There we go, and exhale. Come to an extended side angle. Bring both arms overhead like you're holding a ball of energy. You're tilting out to the side and you're trying to pop that ball. And start bending deeper into that front thigh. There she is. Good, inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, back to our extended warrior. Pop that ball. Good, if this is too hard, you can rest that bottom hand on the thigh, but otherwise we're on both arms extended overhead. We're gonna hold this for three deep breaths. Good, really shift all that weight into that nice front thigh. You feel very sturdy here. And last breath. Good, and bring it all the way <laughs> up. Good, start to heel toe that back leg in. Spin forwards towards the front of the mat. We're gonna slowly shift weight in that front thigh. And slowly start to drag that back leg up off the ground. We'll come to a full warrior three here. Beautiful, guys, from this warrior three, arms are gonna start to reach up and overhead. Good, we're slowly gonna stand all the way up. And then we're gonna bring it all the way back down. Trying to maintain that tall position through the spine the whole time, just moving through the hamstring, the glute, and the low back here. A pure hip hinge based movement. We'll do this five total times. Nice and controlled, whole time. Try not to lose your balance here. Really focus on the weight in that left foot. Good, one more time, then we're just gonna hold the bottom of this warrior three. Good, hold. Slowly bring the hands down to the mat. Really reach that right leg up for a standing split. And then set it down to match the left. Grab opposite elbows, and we'll just rock side to side. Awesome job, guys. We're gonna have to do all that again on the other side. Oh my God. Yay. <laughs> oh, yay. Glad I have your positive mental attitude here with me today, Meg. I need it. Let's shoot back to a chaturanga. Take a vinyasa, inhale upward dog. Exhale for down dog. Okay, guys, time to hit that right side. We'll step the right leg forward to the top of the mat. Start to spin that left heel back behind you. Left toes come perpendicular. Take a nice deep bend through the right thigh. Spread out nice and wide. Create a firm, stable base. You feel like you're ripping that mat apart. Get that 90 degree bend through that hamstring, then start to open up. Finger spin down, look over that front middle finger. We'll start to feel steady here, send if you went a little bit deeper. Then start to inhale, reverse the warrior. That nice side stretch, still keep that front bend. Then we'll exhale into that extended side angle, reaching both arms up overhead. Feel one line from your fingertips through your back heel. Inhale, reverse. And exhale to extend. Really tilt over. See how little space you can get between the rib and the thigh here as you challenge that front thigh. And we'll hold for three deep breaths. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. Back into warrior two. Awesome, you guys. Go ahead and start to spin that back heel forward. And we'll be shifting that weight into that front thigh. Slowly shifting into a full warrior three. Back heel up. Arms come overhead. Five times we come up. And we hinge down. We're moving completely through this right hip and hamstring. Just up and down all through here. Three more. Slow and steady. Feel your toes grip into the mat. If you lose your balance, that's totally fine. Just reset and keep going. And last one, we're gonna hold the bottom position. Good, and really lengthen out from your fingers to your heel here. And then slowly bring the hands down to the floor. Reach the left heel up, standing split, and then set it down. Last guys, plant the hands, hop back to Chaturanga. Take your vinyasa, inhale for up dog. Exhale for that downward dog. All right guys, so from downward facing dog, we're gonna to come to our push-ups. We're gonna shift forward in that high plank. We're going a full chaturanga, finishing with the push-up into that side plank. So we'll inhale down, 
hold, exhale up, side plank, right arm up, back to the middle, half push up, finish the rep, side plank, left arm up. That's one, we're doing eight each arm, down. <laughs> up, right arm up, good, you're welcome to do knee push ups here guys, and then come off the knees so it looks like this, knee push up, off the knees for the side plank. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Way better. Good, that's three and three. Good, guys, come through the middle, hit that push up, hold, finish rep. Each time we're gonna hold that chaturanga for just a second, keep really building some strength and stability in that bottom position. Because that links us into some more advanced poses. Once we get stronger, we need to build that tricep, chest, and shoulder strength. If you wanna be able to hit your crow, hit your handstands, all your inversions, a lot of strength on the front side of that body. Two more each side. Meg, you're killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at it. Look at those delts. I mean, they're growing. <laughs> <laughs> One more each side, guys. Hold. Exhale. Right arm up. Middle. Hit the rep. Finish it. Left arm up. Back to the middle. Down with the hook. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Good. Yes, you can walk your hands back towards your feet. Active rest here as we inchworm forwards and backwards. Get that plank, and again, palms back towards the feet. Get a nice stretch through the hamstrings here. See if you can keep your legs straight as you walk back. Two more times. And last time. Beautiful, guys. Hold the stretch here. Let the head be heavy. Awesome, guys. Go ahead and walk yourself back to your high plank. Set the knees down. We're gonna hit a little bit more core before we wrap up, guys. So spinning back onto the back side of your body. We're just gonna do 20 reps of the following five movements. Number one is gonna be a two up, one down. It'll look like this, two up, one down, two up, one down. We'll do that 20 times. Immediately after that, we're gonna go knee to elbow taps. We're swimming the elbows off the ground. We're gonna hit our knees to our elbows. Okay, from there, we're gonna come into a super crunch position, super crunch and supported, knees in and out. And there we go, toe taps, legs will be in the air. We'll reach up and we'll touch the toes. And then the last one is gonna be side plank forearm raise on each side. See if I can not crush. Yeah, this it's hard. Bad with boy. That. There we go. <laughs> okay, guys, so we'll start with a two up, one down. So be for 20 of everything. Legs will start up, hands can support on the ground. That's one, two, three. Good. Now, every time you're just trying to lift those hips up. I guess we're really doing 40 reps here, 20 each side. That's five. Six, seven, eight. I don't know why Meg trusted me to count. Her algebra is probably <laughs> better than mine. I'm not kidding. Nine. That's probably a better way to just go. <laughs> just breathe. I'm just hoping it's over. Try and breathe halfway, guys. Eleven. Sorry. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Nice, guys. Almost there. Thirteen. 13, try trying to use your lower abs here to pull the hips up. Good, 15, 15, just five more. 16, 16, 17, <laughs> 17, <laughs> almost 18, Help me. 18. The safe word is child's pose. <laughs> 19, 19, that's a joke, there's no safe word. 20, you're screwed once you start. There's no stopping. Hands behind the head, guys. We're going straight into those knee to elbow taps. Okay, okay. so we're going to freeze the upper body up, shoulders off the ground. Now we're just going to tap our knees to the elbows. And again, we're just trying to get that little hip lift. This is how we're going to build strength in the lower portion of your core. Again, a lot of this compression strength applies toward advanced yoga positions. As we're trying to build strength will focus specifically on the types of strength that are most useful 
some of our later practices. Halfway. Well. Every time you bring the knees in, little exhale. 18, 19, and 20. Good job, guys. Sitting upright, hands are going to support you on the floor. Go for 20 quick super crunches. Again, just knees coming in and out. Lean slightly back. Knees in, out, in, out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Last two, 19. 20. Nice job, guys. Legs straight up in the air. This time, top half comes towards the bottom half. We're just going to 20 times reach up. Touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, touch your shins, even touch your knees, as long as you're getting that upper back off the ground. Yeah, it takes a lot of flexibility through those hamstrings to keep the legs straight. If your legs are bent, that's totally fine. Just keep trying to actively pull the legs straight up. Halfway. For the last five. And 20. Beautiful, guys. Next, we'll come into our forearm side plank. We'll just do some side plank with rotation. So we'll come up onto that forearm, plant the hand down. Options here to either stack the legs, or you can stagger the legs if this is still more of a challenging pose. But let's assume that we're stacking the legs here. We're going to take our left arm. We're going to inhale, weave the left shoulder down. Exhale, open up. Inhale, weave it down. Exhale, open up. Good. 20 each side. Three. Good. Just connecting that breath to movement. Inhale down, exhale up. Really go full range of motion. Try and get your chest to drop towards the floor each time. <laughs> Unless you're negative. It's Megan. And <sighs> your whole body drops towards the floor, and that's fine, too. Option you're fine. To Again, option to stagger the feet here. Option to come up on just the hand instead of the forearm. Make that a little bit easier. We're halfway. Option to rest your hips on the <laughs> Hey, you know. Modifying. Option to hit pause on the video, grab a beer, come back tomorrow. <gasps> oh, can we? Five more. Good. Last three. Last two. And last one. <laughs> nice, guys. We'll flip over. Finish down on this side. 20 reps. We're almost there. Hand plants down to the ground. Again, same option. You can stack the feet or stagger. Hip comes up off the ground, right shoulder to the ground, to the sky. Good. The whole time, I just want you to think you're engaging the left oblique, pulling the left hip high into the sky. Nice. Smooth breathing here. One breath, one move, inhaling down, exhaling up every single time. We're halfway. Almost there. Last five, guys. Eighteen. Nineteen. Big finish, Meg. And twenty. Oh, I did it. Awesome. Meg, <gasps> crushed. Yeah, yes. That was rough. <laughs> guys, we'll finish out with a light stretch. Go ahead and straddle the legs out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, just start to relax forward. Walk the hands as far forward as you can. Flex the toes up. Let the head be heavy. And catch your breath. Guys, you did awesome today. Absolutely fun flow that you can do. Seven days a week if you want to take a nice sweat. It's almost every muscle in the body. And of course, you get to enjoy Meg seven days a week too. And that could be worse. So. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, great job today. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll Bye. see you on the next one.